The Victor Valley College Rams scored three second quarter touchdowns and turned it over to the defense to register their second straight win, a 19-7 triumph over Antelope Valley College. The Rams get touchdown passes from Paul Morose to Terrence Chambers and a two-yard touchdown collaboration between Morose and Tyrone Pruitt to go out in front 13-0. Antelope Valley's lone score came midway through the second following Victor Valley College's second touchdown. Marauders running back Ed Martin reverses field and outruns Rams defenders on a 56-yard scoring play. Just under six minutes remain before halftime. The Rams' lead has been narrowed to 13-7. The third and final Rams scoring play comes on J.B. on Taylor's plunge from two yards out just before halftime. 29 seconds show on the second quarter clock. The try for a two-point conversion ends without success on an incomplete pass. The Victor Valley College formula for success this day is not found as much with the offense, however, as with the Rams' defense. Leading 19-7 at halftime, the Rams' offense sputters in its first series of the third quarter. Antelope Valley's offense did not. The visiting marauders moved deep into Rams' territory. Quarterback D.J. Gordon, the long completion to Derek Denton. First down at the 16, Gordon finds it tougher going on the ground. Defensive back Charles Taylor shaken up but bounces up. The Rams swarm to the ball, throwing the Marauder ball carrier for a loss. But penalties against VVC benefit the Marauders advance. It is first and goal Antelope Valley on the Rams four. No gain. 27 is D. Bowler. 92 is 320 pound Victor Magana. An incomplete pass on second down brings up third and goal at the four. 240 pound freshman Carl Alexander is number 99. Antelope Valley goes for the sure points, a chip shot of a field goal, but the Rams make sure the bobbled snap is not made operational. Jabari Thomas, airborne number eight. It's a wild scramble for the fumble, and once all the scrum-like action clears, the Rams' defense has derailed the first and goal of the four threat, hijacked momentum from the Marauders, and turned the ball back over to the offense. Two minutes and 45 seconds into the second half, the most decisive series of plays has just transpired. The score remains 19-7. 27 minutes and 15 seconds, playing time later, that's still the score at game's end. Do you and the defense think there was a turning point in this game? Yes, sir. I think the turning point was uh, in the third quarter when the offense came out a little sluggish, but uh, they had a first and goal, and, you know, we just told the defense to just dig in, and we got, we got to stop. <laughs> Every time it happened, did it just fuel more enthusiasm because two more fourth quarter goal line stands, something like 11 stops in the red zone? Yes, sir. It was, it was huge for us because it gave us a lot of confidence, and we knew that when we get down the red zone, there's, there's no break. You know, we bend, but we don't break. Great start, 2-0. Good luck next week. Thank you. Yeah.